everybody, welcome back to another episode of Breed Review. I'm Liam Murphy, and today I'll be reviewing the Flat Coated Retriever. So today what I will be doing is reviewing the Flat Coated Retriever. What I will not be doing, all of us will not be doing, is talking about these overalls. We're not going to talk about them, we're not going to bring them up, we're going to look past them. We're just going to ignore them. We want to be adults, we're not going to make funny comments in the comments section making fun of them. We're just going to let it slide. I'm screwed, Coop. Yeah, right, I know I'm going to get killed in the comments for them. Is he doc, you guys? Can you see him? Coop, don't knock over the camera, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so the flat coat originates in England and they were bred as a retriever for both water, and I mean they retrieved water, I mean they retrieved in the water, and also on land. And they were used by hunters for birds and all types of other things. And nowadays, these guys are still used quite a bit for hunting. And for really good reason, because they are excellent, excellent working dogs. They're also used as family companions, although not as much as a lot of the other retrievers. Well, at least in the United States anyways, they're one of the more rare of the retrieving breeds. They're not nearly as popular as your Labs and your Golden Retrievers, even your Chesapeake Bay Retrievers, your Beer Retrievers, dogs like that. These guys are a large sized dog. They range anywhere from 60 to 80 pounds. They come in three different colors, black, yellow, and liver. Primarily, you're going to see them in the all black though. And they have a very shiny, long, really beautiful coat. Really, really striking, beautiful, beautiful dog. All right, what do you guys say? Why don't we get into the review and let's start off with health. There are some concerning health issues with this breed that I've found. I would say the main concerns would be hip dysplasia, eye problems. But even bigger than those problems is going to be cancer. Unfortunately, this breed is at a much higher risk of getting cancer than a lot of other breeds. Studies have shown that 50% of these guys die of some sort of cancer. The expected lifespan for these guys is 8 to 10 years. It's not the longest, it's not the shortest either. Certainly, breeders are doing their best to try to improve these statistics. So if you are interested in getting one of these dogs, you want to consider the health issues with them. You want to do your research on the breeder. Out of a 1 to 5 score for health for these guys, I'll give them a 3. Alright, moving on to temperament. Really, really great temperament on these guys. And this is what really makes this dog special is that they're such a nice breed. They're a very friendly breed. They're really good with little kids. You just have to watch them. I mean, you don't want to be at a family event. You know, if you have little nieces and nephews running around and one of these guys comes flying through and bowls them over. You end up on like America's Funniest Home Videos or something like that. You might think it's funny. The world might think it's funny. But your sister-in-law is never going to speak to you again. Now, you really don't need to make family holiday gatherings any more awkward than they already are, especially if maybe, perhaps, you didn't knock before you entered the bathroom and you found Aunt Peg standing there with no pants on, and then maybe possibly because you don't have experience walking in on people in the bathroom, you might have accidentally said out, out loud, I wish my eyes could throw up. I'm sorry. I mean, not that, that, not that I did. I'm just saying, if, if that something like that happened, okay? Well, anyways, um, just watch them around, kids. Exuberant breed, okay? But you just have to be careful because, again, they get very, very excited and they run around, they go crazy, and next thing you know, you know, and they can knock them down and hurt them. Excellent with other dogs. They really like to play. With strangers, I would say, they can become not aggressive, but they will become very balky. And they can take a very assertive tone with people that they don't know approaching. They're very protective of their families and their property. But that's as far as it goes with balking, and that can be really great for some people. You know, you could have some idiots walking around that you don't want near your property, and you know the dog will see him will bark and that's certainly a big deterrent for a lot of people so uh god dog no watch dog yeah overall temperament for these guys i'm gonna give them a five all right moving on to activity like i said they were bred as a retrieving dog they're still used quite a bit as retrieving dogs dogs that are still used a lot in the fields typically have a lot more energy than dogs that typically are not like for instance these guys are gonna have much much more energy than say like your golden retrievers calm down golden retriever people i'm not saying that golden's on is good we're just saying that they're lazy that's all i'm saying Lazy show dogs now. Relax, I'm just kidding. So if you do get one of these dogs, expect to have to exercise them a lot. I'm talking like three hours a day. All right, minimum three hours a day. That's, that's in my opinion, I, if I had one of these guys, three hours a day for sure. You know, like I always say with dogs, like working dogs or, or um, sporting dogs, you want to make sure you simulate some sort of a hunt. Whether that be just taking a ball to a field and letting them retrieve it for you, uh, or going down to a pond and throwing a bumper in the water. That's right, I said bumper. That's how we pronounce them up here. Get in the car and take them down to the water, kid. Take them down to the water and go swimming. Maybe do a little skinny dipping. I'm kidding. It's a joke. Relax. I got overalls on. Settle down. Swimming is a great activity for these guys. They love the water. They love to swim. So activity for these guys, I'm going to give them another five. You really want to make sure that you're an active family, individual, if you're going to take on one of these dogs. All right, moving on to trainability. Very, very smart dog, but they require a lot of work. Again, high energy dogs, you really got to work training with them right away. You know, start with the basics. Get a good trainer if you can. I always recommend go to a professional. But if you don't train them, they can be very, very difficult. They'll be dragging you around in front of people and they'll talk behind your back. They'll be jumping all over people, knocking kids down 
chewing up your house, things like that. So you want to really make sure you get right into training right away with these guys. And a consistent routine with these guys with training and exercise is going to make a world of difference to you guys. So trainability for these guys, I'm going to give them a four. And like I said, you really want to make sure you start right away and you stay consistent with it. All right, guys, that's it. That's a flat coat retriever. Love these guys a lot. All right, let's go over some pros and cons of the breed real quick. Pros, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you guys, they're a very, very friendly dog. Excellent with kids, excellent with other dogs. Make a great family companion. Some cons for them would be that, uh, like I said, some of the health issues. Go to a good breeder do your research, stay consistent with exercise and nutrition, you shouldn't have any issues. I wouldn't be as concerned. Great, great breed, really love these guys a lot. Highly recommend these guys if, again, you're an active person and you're willing to put in the training and the exercise. All right, guys, before I go, I wanna get some emails that you guys sent in. Again, in the description, I'll link my email below. And if you guys are new to this channel, welcome, thank you for coming. If you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button, it's right over there, somewhere around here, it's red, it's got white lettering, it says subscribe on it. And also the notification bell, that way there when I post a new video, you guys will know about it right away. Hit me up, hit me up, bro. Hit me up, AF. Hit me up, Alexa. Hit me up. All right, we're doing it. Let's read some emails, bud. What do you say? Get the Gmail app. I'm not interested because I have it on my phone. Don't need you, stupid ass. Whoa, look at all these. Oh my God, there's been a ton of them. All right, guys, so first email is from, I, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. I, I apologize if I get it wrong, but it looks to me like Alric. Alaric. Okay, it says, hello, my name is Alaric. I'm 17 years old, and I come from Norway. Cool, all right, nice. Norway's awesome. I would love to visit Norway. Everybody tells me that it's one of the most beautiful areas in the world. I actually have a very good friend from Norway. I have a nine-month-old Spanish water dog. Love Spanish water dogs, by the way. Don't see a lot of them out here. Really, really cool dogs. Her name is Nada? Nada? Nada. Probably Nada. Uh, she loves to play with other dogs and children, and generally is very social. She loves to play fetch and loves to swim. I really enjoy your videos and you deserve a lot more subscribers. You're the man. Best email yet, you guys. I don't know if I want to top it. I might have to read this one twice. Thank you, Alric. I appreciate that a lot. Then what you have now. Right? I'm up to like 3,000. We're getting there slowly but surely, but um, uh, certainly with, with your support, that's going to keep going up. So I appreciate it. Nada would be very happy if she could get a shout out on your channel. Absolutely, Alric. Guys, look at this dog. Look how cute she is. Pretty, pretty dog. Beautiful, beautiful dog. Looks a lot like a Portuguese water dog or like a, even like the Lagoda Romagnolo that we did. Super cool dog. Really love her a lot. Great pictures of her. I love water dogs. I, I've always, always liked like the Portuguese water dogs and Spanish water dogs. Probably one of my favorites. I've worked with them in the past and every single one I've worked with has been a really, really good dog. High energy dog for sure, but always a ton of fun. Ulrich, thank you so much for the support. You're amazing. You're awesome. Shout out to Nala in Norway. Ulrich, you're awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. I can't tell you enough how grateful I am. Best of luck with the puppy going forward. Thank you, bud. I appreciate it. Cool dog. Next up, we have Jill. Hi, Liam. Thank you so much for your awesome and honest videos. Especially love the videos on Newfies. Dubby, that's my boy. He's over, the, he's over at the other building right now. T almost 12 years old. Can you believe it? We are from Western Washington. This is our Border Collie Mix Blazer. Blazer, she's a rescue. We believe she might be mixed with Newfoundland. She's over 10 years old. Wow. And weighs 50 pounds with a very thick, seemingly waterproof coat. She's a very loving lap dog, lap dog. She really barks and is always welcoming to all strangers should they have a hand to pet her with. In other words, she's the worst, she's the worst god dog ever. That's hysterical. <laughs> that's all right though, sometimes that's good, you know. Best wishes to you and your YouTube channel, Jill. Jill, you're awesome, thank you so much. Beautiful dog. I love her mockings, by the way. I like her paw. Gorgeous dog, 10 years old. Still looks like she's got a lot of leg left in her. I've always wanted to visit Washington. I'm assuming it's Washington State, not Washington, D.C. Definitely not watching to see. I mean, it's you, you, they say some of the best hiking in the country. I would love to check that out. But super cool dog. Jill, I can't thank you enough. You're awesome. Thank you. Love Blazer. Cool looking dog. I wish you guys the best going forward with her. Thanks again for all the support. You guys are great. Thanks, Jill. All right, next up is from Jane. It could be my Aunt Jane. Nope, it's not my Aunt Jane. Hi, Liam. I saw your last video where you were featuring dogs and we'd love to be included. This is Buddy. Buddy is a purebred yellow lab from the Chicago suburbs and almost 11 years old. Oh my God, Buddy, way to go, Buddy. Buddy's my first dog. We got him when he was two months old. Oh my God, oh wow, I know that. I remember my first dog. We got him when he was two months old. When I was younger, I put puppy on the grocery list for years and it finally worked. That's all. That's a riot. That's funny. The first picture is one of my favorites from a couple years ago while Buddy was doing his favorite activity, swimming. I love, love, love taking my lab swimming. It's one of my favorite, favorite activities with him. I love it. They, they're, they're awesome at it. We can't keep him out of the pool. We even taught him how to use the ladder. Unfortunately, his arthritis forced him to limit his pool time as he doesn't know his body's limitations. That is so hard. I've been there before and dogs have to get older. They don't know it. They're like, you know, 
they'll just still go so hard and, the, and then they can't they can barely move for, for the rest of the day so I've been there before for sure once they jump once they're like all right that's all I want to do it's like my kids now same thing in my pool it's like, it's like hey just swim stay in and swim stop splashing me I don't like cold water the second picture is from last spring just enjoying the fresh air in the backyard I love watching your videos and learning about other breeds of dogs I also appreciate your humor thank you very much glad somebody does you guys are too, you guys are too serious sometimes uh, keep up the great work sincerely Jane and buddy Jane Thank you so much. He is an absolutely gorgeous lab. I'm guessing he looks like an English bloodline to me. Beautiful, beautiful dog. I just got a new yellow lab myself. He's only a couple months old. Proving to be quite the handful right now. Jane, buddy, is absolutely gorgeous. He's a very, very lucky dog. Seems like he has a very loving mom and a wonderful life. You guys are doing a fantastic job with him. Best of luck going forward, Jane. Thank you so much for the email. I really appreciate it. All you guys who sent the emails, really, guys, thank you so much. I know I say it a lot, uh, but really, thank you guys so much. I love reading them. Love seeing the pictures of the dogs. Thank you to all you guys who have been supporting the channel, liking the video, sharing them with your friends, things like that. And I wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't for you guys. So, and like I said, absolutely love getting the emails from you guys. So thank you guys so much for all the support. I'm so so grateful really looking forward to this my second year now and really adding a little bit more content to the channel as well other than just the breed reviews. Thank you again so much for coming by today. I hope you had an awesome awesome day with your dogs. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Thanks again guys. Bye now.